Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Pressure Biosciences Channel, a leader in the development and sale of innovative, enabling pressure-based platform solutions for the worldwide life sciences. Man, there's going to be an in-depth discussion. Basically, joining us today, we have uh, John Hollister, the Director of Sales and Marketing. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate it. It's nice to be here. Always a pleasure, man. So we got lots to get into here. First and foremost, we're going to be discussing nano emulsion, how you're kind of expanding this into uh, the food industry. This is a really intriguing uh, discussion, but for newer people kind of stumbling onto this nano emulsion, this new kind of technology going on, what is it? Yeah, so, so nano emulsion in its simplest form is putting two things that everybody knows don't go together. Oil and water is a great example, put, and we actually can put them together and make them really stable. And so the best analogy is your salad dressing. When you try to shake it, you're making an emulsion. With our platform, our proprietary platform, we use super high pressure, 45,000 PSI, and push oil and water through uh, a, a patented valve, which then shears it down. It's called uh, UST, ultra shear technology. And it's very unique and it's resulting in tremendous breakthroughs. But we cut these particles down to very small size where they remain incredibly stable. And importantly, they're better absorbed uh, in the human body or in plants or wherever you put them. They are, because they're so small, they are able to get through barriers much more readily. Now, you alluded briefly to kind of the CBD aspect of things as well. Do you kind of want to explain how that kind of intersects and then <clears throat> we'll expand into uh, the food industry? Yeah, so, so uh, one of the areas that has gotten a lot of interest is the area of cannabinoids and CBD is uh, garnering a lot of attention in many markets for lots of reasons. Uh, but CBD is also an oil and, and unlike all cannabinoids are very poorly absorbed. And, and what I mean by that is if uh, two people take the same gelatin cap of CBD, one person will absorb somewhere around 4% and the other person will absorb as much as 20% of it, getting very different experiences and, and it's very uh, non-optimal. Additionally, it takes somewhere about 35 or 40 minutes for that to be absorbed or even more. When you make a nano emulsion, and we've done this now in many different forms of CBD, uh, we can make a nano emulsion that's very small particles, 47, 48 nanometers, which is very tiny. And the result of that is it's much better absorbed. And so when you take a particular dose, you know that that 100% of that is going to be absorbed. Additionally, we, we found that with our nano emulsions, it's also room temperature stable, meaning you can store it at uh, room temperature uh, on your counter and it will stay stable. And we now know for more than two years without any change at all. So it has a lot of other properties. In addition, it loses the, uh, it no longer reflects light. So when you uh, take original CBD, it's a little cloudy substance. When you make a nano, when we make a nano emulsion, it becomes, crystal clear, which means you can put it in a beverage, uh, which is of interest, and it remains absolutely clear. It diffuses in the product. So very exciting. Yeah, this is very fascinating. And there was a recent study published uh, at the Ohio State University in the use of dairy and vegetable beverages. So tell us what's going on with that and how it relates to you guys. Yeah, I mean, this is really exciting for us because it's a, a really well done study uh, by our partners. Uh, and they've been working with us on developing this platform and technology. Uh, called UST, and, and their purpose is looking at it in the food processing world and, and originally looking at dairy and making a room temperature st stable form of milk, which would be fabulous for preparation for disasters, for instance, or in markets where they don't have easy access to refrigeration. Well, they've just published a study because they've been looking at uh, dairy and vegetable beverages. This is a market that's growing very rapidly and is expected to be somewhere around $87 billion by the end of this decade. So a really big marketplace. And it's in essence, the concept of putting vegetable matter with protein matter, and how do you make a good tasting drink? And so they're trying different uh, ways to do that. And they used our platform to make an emulsion, a nano emulsion of, uh, in this case, dairy, and peas, uh, you could use almonds, you could use all sorts of different uh, other substitutes for proteins, but in this case, they use peas because they're easily accessible, easily grown, very inexpensive and really good source of protein. And what they did is they ran through the system and in fact found that with pressure and important, the shearing 
uh, and uh, it resulted in this really amazing uh, product. And one of the goals of this, and I, I will use the analogy of half and half versus whole milk, when you uh, are trying to be healthier, quote unquote, and use less fat, and you go to whole milk, I prefer half and half because it has that richness that rolls on your tongue and you can taste the cream. Whole milk doesn't do that for me. When you do a nano emulsion, your particles are much smaller and from a scientific perspective have much more surface area on them, which gives your taste buds a lot more exposure to the flavor. And so the goal of these beverages is to use vegetable alternatives to increase the fat content and through nano emulsions, we can actually bring more flavor to it. So, uh, and, and this is really exciting if you think of uh, nutrients that are supplemental to increase people's intake of proteins, for instance, in uh, the geriatric or post-surgery patients where you're trying to get more protein in people, uh, bodybuilders, athletes, people who are trying to replenish what they are. We can do this with vitamins. We can do this with uh, proteins. We can do this in a lot of other forms that are beverages. This is a uh, fascinating, evolving industry. And at this point, John, I'm going to pass the question out to the viewers. We'd love to know what you guys think about all this in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news continues to come down the wire, of course, we'll update you here. But on that note, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one. Mm -hmm.